Hey everyone, welcome to the Skip It YouTube channel. Today I want to uh, tell you about the DC power supply. What is the beginning? For to find the issue and troubleshooting, you need uh, this device. Now I want to explain about this, but next video I start to tell you about the general structure, uh, about the main issue. Uh, this is my course my course uh, just I want to tell you we have a five main issue this is very important after this video I made it I make it but this video just I tell uh, I want to tell you how to use the this one how to find the main issue and after that I explain about the five main issue and how to know in the understood because very important to know when we check the phone by uh, DC power supply you need to know which of them have an issue because just I want to tell you we have a without the, without the current that's a different main issue and the public voltage usually when it's have an issue on the public voltage is showing the leaking current before press the power button and some issue like the after press the power button when you press the power button is DC power supply showing the uh, use the current but his phone not turn on this is the third one and another one is the we said hang on the logo hang on the logo uh, have a two types uh, different issue one of them is software or another one hardware well maybe usually this is uh, uh, this problem for the hard drive that's if it's iPhone we said NAND or if it's the Android phones we said EMMC or UFS or may have a, another hardware issue that I want to tell you very simple about the, all of them and the last main issue we said about the uh, phone after turning on phone completely on you can use the phone but uh, something happen in there like the not charging fake charging Wi-Fi doesn't work Bluetooth doesn't work uh, antenna or network is showing the no service or searching that's all of them uh, uh, after the phone is turning on but I want to tell you very simple about the all five main issue the first I tell you about the DC power supply and next video make it about the these five main issue okay comes to the DC power supply DC power supply doesn't matter that's a big small or uh, have a many a lot of options or have a two dis digital display doesn't matter just only we need the two display one of them for voltage you showing the symbol in there and amps in there just I want to explain about this uh, how it's working like the your home electricity meter this uh, uh, home electricity uh, home electricity department delivered the voltage to your uh, home power meter that's it that's here when you use the home appliances at home like turn on the TV fridge or air condition doesn't matter when you use it that's the power electric, uh, electric uh, home power meter start the calculator how much you use the current and that's right for then how much is used is calculator the how much you use it and uh, after one month is the send the bills to you electricity bills to you but is this doesn't send the bill to you when you use the phone that's here you understood when it's that's showing the this current you know that phone is normal or abnormal now I want to tell you about the this device and uh, very, very simple I want to explain very simple about this one. now okay comes to check the phone the first I tell you about the two display the voltage we know battery phone battery voltage between the 3.7 to 4.2 but phone motherboard we stand to 4.5 volts if you bring the voltage more than 4.5 uh, 4 uh, volts that's damage the phone this is very important need be careful this is the safely and good voltage for, for to check the phone motherboards 
that's the 4.2 volts this voltage just only one time uh, just set up one time the voltage and that's it it doesn't change the voltage if you doesn't have the experience before about the phone repair just only put in there and keep it doesn't change the voltage I tell you if it's low than 3.7 bring to the 3.7 may phone is not turn on not enough uh, because it's have a long cable may is phone is not turn on or higher than higher higher than is 4.5 volts is damaged the main board but I tell uh, I told you this is the best and good voltage for to check the motherboard 4.2 volts and doesn't change it but it comes to here this is amps when you use the uh, when this phone is turning on this device is calculated how much to use the current but I told you doesn't send the bill to you uh, that's for checking the current you understood that phone is normal or abnormal but before press the power button when you connect the DC power supply cable to this phone for example this one yeah because you doesn't use the current that's suppose that's all I see parts in there like the TV fridge or air condition or lights that's it okay but you come to home and you doesn't turn on the anything that's mean this doesn't calculate or you use the current because you you not turn on that's a phone is uh, not turn on then you start to press the power button that's mean you want to turn on all of them that device start to calculate on how much to use the current okay like this now you see just when you start to press the power button the the current display start to fluctuation this main board is have an issue you see that's start to fluctuation yeah this turn on it comes to around the 180 milliamps that's it but you see before press the power button need be showing the zero I checked another phone you see again is the zero that's may that is the normal the first beginning is a normal after press the power button need be show me the current that is start to calculate how much to use this phone how much to use the current you see around the 100 milliamps and comes down but if is before press the power button you see uh, DC power supply showing the leaking current like this phone you see before press the power button DC power supply showing the 600 milliamps that we said this is the large leaking current that's 100 percent have an issue on the phone before press the power button you need to find that this one because phone this is the abnormal need be fixed the phone before press the power button and because this have a large current that means with finger you can find the parts because that's you use the high current that start to heating the temperature goes up with like this here is have a heating there okay just I want to tell you about uh, this device and how to find the issue but uh, I want to tell you you watch the next videos about the five main issues just have a, a lot information about uh, a, a lot information about the troubleshooting that's it I hope this video helped you thank you for watching and I see you next video